I'm back with Crash Site Reptiles today, and he's gonna show us some of the exciting things going on in his collection today. I've taken a sneak peek of a few of these animals, and I can't wait to share them with you. Mike, tell us what you're doing with these eggs here today. These eggs pipped this morning. I came and I had three or four little heads sticking out. So what I like to do when they do that, I like to cut them because every now and again a ball python will lose its egg tooth and can drown in there if they can't get out. Never had that happen. And I usually don't like to cut until I have at least one of them pip. I think a lot of guys cut these things way too early. Mm -hmm. I've seen guys cut them at, you know, typical incubation, 60 days. I've seen guys at 40 days. Oh, wow. And they just need to settle down. They get very excited. So what I'm basically wanting to do here is see how many of these turned out to be coral glows and how many are just walnut. The, the female was just a regular walnut, but she's a great big one and she always gives us good clutches. So can you see that? Okay, there we have just oh, a just beautiful. a walnut. That's just a regular walnut. This one, there's a coral glow. I can tell by the color on this one. You can see how they've shredded the egg a little bit. This one's going to be a coral glow. Now, do you have a specific technique for doing this without ever poking your snake? Yep. When you, when I put the scissors in, I like to have them right there on the top part of the egg. Mm -hmm. So the dull part, if it touches the snake, okay. there, there's no there's no contact with the animal, with with the business end. Oh, uh, and there we have another woma. Last time I got a clutch from her, I had all coral glows except for one. Oh, wow. So we're spitting out a few more Womas, which I like. I think they're a, I kind of like them more than the spider. They don't have the head wobble. Now here, can you guys see that? Okay, there's a coral glow. Getting yolk on myself. <laughs> and at this point in the process, the eggs pull apart real easy. You don't have to worry about tearing them. This one is shredded that egg it wants out. There we go. Little, <laughs> There's little a coral face. Glow, wanting to come out and say hi. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Look at that. Wow. This one looks like it's gonna be a woman. Yep. Oh I cut the head off. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So these things are due to hatch tomorrow. So the incubation time was just about perfect. And typically they will pip a day or two before their predicted hatch. Now occasionally you'll come in a week early or sometimes I've had that happen and they're out of the eggs. So you never really know. Here's another coral glow. Now these are coral glows. See how dark that one is? Mm -hmm. That's a coral glow. There's the inchy and the yellow belly in that one. Nice. And I'm hoping, keep my fingers crossed, maybe I'll have a female in there. This, uh, this one is a, a male maker. And if you don't know <clears throat> anything about those, coral glows typically throw, and bananas too, typically throw males. Mm, interesting, so, I wonder why. Just the way they do it. And here we have, there's another coral glow. Wow, nice you ratio. See, we didn't cut the veins or anything. So anyway, that'll be a nice clutch. And those, I'm sure, I guarantee will be available on the <clears throat> on Morph Market. So beautiful. Yep. So uh, I'd love to see the parents to these animals. You would. Well, let me show you. <laughs> I thought you might. There's the female. So that's just a woman. Can you hold that mm -hmm. for me? I know you're afraid of snakes. Oh yeah, you know me. Ball pythons are terrifying. You hold spiders, and I won't touch those. <laughs> She's and, a beast. Oh wow, look at him. And this is the male. This is a coral glow inchy yellow belly male. Wow. And he's, I believe, three years old. And he's weighing in right around 15, 1600 grams right now. And he's an incredible breeder. This thing locks up with everything. That's nice. I told you what we named him. Yes. Should I tell everybody? Um, his name is Ron. We'll say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. His name is Ron. Yeah. Named after a, a famous a famous man film who's, star. Yes, an amorous film star. Yeah, we don't want to plug his movies. <laughs> but anyway, so this 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 is where they came from, and I really like the 
I love the coral glows when they, yes. especially when they first come out. They, they just got some outstanding colors. They're so. beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing this lovely couple with us as well as their offspring. Hope you guys like this one and you learned a little bit about ball pythons today. Make sure and stay tuned for the next time I come and play with crash site reptiles.